Hey, so in this video we will take a look at uh, how we're creating a component using the Angular CLI uh, and then we'll move on to create a simple CLI uh, component and uh, test it. So we will run uh, the Angular CLI command uh, which means that we want to create a new component so it's ng g component g is for generate and we want to create a simple component and put it in a simple component directory so we ran our command and as you can see uh, angular uh, cli created uh, five files for us so let's see what it created uh, it created the index uh, to gather all the components we need uh, so the main component is the simple component and you can see that it already generated the basic code we want it uh, tells the angular framework that uh, the selector will be up simple component uh, what will be the URL to the template and uh, what will be the style uh, URLs uh, it's also created a basic HTML it also created a spec so we can test it, we'll see it later and uh, an empty file for the CSS files so it's very convenient, it saves us a lot of time uh, but this time we'll talk about the test, so let's see the spec so first we can see that uh, Angular uh, Core has its own testing framework so you have uh, before each, so before each test uh, before we inject the providers we describe what we want to test, uh, so we want to test that a simple component works uh, you use the expect and it should do and inject if you want to inject uh, using the DI uh, framework of Angular so this time we'll create a simple component uh, later we'll see what exactly Angular added to us uh, so let's create a simple com component let's say we want to display uh, a first name and a last name uh, of a, our user so let's just display it so we have a first name and it will be a string and we have a last name and it will be also a string so we put our public members uh, before the constructor uh, this is the new convention and uh, what else we do, we'll use the input so we can uh, give our component some uh, input from the HTML files okay so we're expecting to get uh, two uh, inputs, first name and last name and let's say we have a function that calls uh, say hello let's make it public we'll put it after our constructor and it only returns Okay, so it will turn uh, hello and saying uh, our first name and last name. So now we want to examine our component. We want to test it. So we create a new test. Uh, first of all, we'll use the before each provider. So you can see that the Angular CLI already created this for us. And it tells them that we will use the simple component component. Uh, so Angular knows if you want to inject it what exactly we are talking about and now we'll create our first simple tests so let's say okay, so we will say it should create the user 
Hello. So this is our first basic test. Uh, I know it's a simple test, but it's just to see how the framework works. Uh, so we will create our uh, component. So we create a new variable. We make a new object and we initiate we initiate the fields as if we got them from the input. We initiate the last name, can be anything, so let's just make it a memo. Okay, and now we expect to be written by our uh, component. So let's see. So we say we expect. We expect our say hello method to be equal so if you remember it should return hello Joey menu okay so if you want to run our test uh, using the angular CLI all we have to do is uh, in our console, we should, in our terminal, we should say ng test. And let's see if it works first. It will build the project. Once you run ng test, uh, you don't need to run it again. It will uh, watch your files. If there is a new uh, change, it will run again the tests. So we can see that we are fa failing. Okay, so we can see that we uh, have a problem in a component. We didn't uh, enter a backspace. So we go back and we see that we forgot to put a space here. You can see that uh, the test uh, framework runs again. And you can see that every one of our uh, tests uh, goes through. So this is a great way to finding bugs uh, before you deploy your project. And it's very simple. The next uh, thing we'll see is how to test our uh, DOM objects. Uh, because uh, Angular uh, 2 uses the virtual DOM, so you don't actually need to uh, use a browser to render the component and you can test it very easily without uh, launching a browser. So we'll see it next time and uh, thank you.